Huge news in the drone world with so many questions about using Chinese drones in the United States now and in the future, a mysterious company comes along to potentially save the day. We're gonna talk all about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you don't know who we are, we are a drone company. We sell drones to police and fire departments, construction companies, engineering firms, you name it. We're working with those companies now, expanding their drone fleets and helping them use drones to make their jobs more efficient and easier. Today, we are talking about some exciting new news in the drone industry. There have been a ton of questions, a ton of questions about the future use of Chinese made drones in the United States, fair or not. The problem is that most of the drones in the United States are Chinese made drones. And when I say they've come under fire, I mean, they've come under fire from all levels, from the federal level down to the state level. There are states that have banned Chinese drones, specifically Florida, I know, I believe Arkansas, as well as another one. They have banned those drones for public safety. So police, fire departments, they are not able to use DJI drones. They are not able to use Autel drones or any other sort of Chinese manufactured drone. There's also been a ban on the federal level for Chinese made drones. And now we have the Countering CCP Drone Act, which has been put forward and they're trying to see if they can get some momentum behind that. And that would actually ban DJI drones for everyone, for consumers, for professionals, for public safety, you wouldn't be able to fly DJI drones in the United States uh, moving forward. Now, there's a lot of doubt as to whether that act will actually ever move forward, uh, whether it would ever get enough votes to actually be enacted. But just in case that ever were to pass and DJI drones or Chinese made drones were ever to be banned, a company came along to save the day, potentially. Now I'm gonna start by showing you this. This is the DJI Mavic 3 Thermal, an incredible little drone built on the Mavic 3 platform. It's got high resolution thermal. It's got a 56 times zoom lens on it. So really, really powerful. And this is mostly used for our police and fire department clients. They use them for search and rescue, et cetera. Anyway, the Mavic 3 Thermal, incredible little drone. But what I wanna show you right now is the Anzu Raptor T. So I'll give you a side-by-side -side here just so you can see the similarities. What are the similarities? Everything is the same except that green color. You go from the dark gray of DJI to this green color of the Anzu Raptor T. Now this company Anzu Robotics is American. They manufacture their drones in Malaysia. So they are getting around the whole problem with the anti-Chinese drones. How are they doing this? They are actually licensing the technology from DJI. They're not saying that they're licensing it from DJI, but it sure seems like they're licensing everything from DJI just from the looks and the specs of the drone. It is basically identical. So the Mavic 3T versus the Raptor T are gonna be virtually identical. The Mavic 3 Enterprise that doesn't have any thermal on it is identical to the Raptor. So it's two separate drones. They are essentially clones of the Mavic 3T and the Mavic 3 Enterprise, and their software is being designed by Aloft. Aloft is a longtime drone software uh, developer, so this is a really good partnership, it would seem, with Anzu Robotics. You even look at the remote control of these drones and they are exactly the same. So what's gonna be different about them is a couple of things. One, the operating system on the remote, instead of using DJI Pilot 2, you are gonna use Aloft's new software. Randall Warnus, the head of Anzu Robotics, says that your flying experience is going to be very similar, that you're not gonna be missing much if you miss anything at all when it comes to the way you fly the drone, the software on the remote control. A couple of huge differences from these drones to the DJI drones. One is that all of the information on the drone, everything is stored on US-based servers. So that's a big deal. I think that brings some peace of mind to some people that are worried about the information that might be going back and forth. The other big change with these drones is they are not geofenced. DJI geofences their drones. So if you're flying close to something they don't want you to fly close to, you're not gonna be able to fly there. Say it's an airport, uh, say it is some sort of federal building, you're not gonna be able to fly there because DJI will stop your drone from being able to fly there. Well, Anzu Robotics, does not geofence, and they said they're not planning to. So I think that's an interesting thing, a big plus for them as well. Let's talk about some of the similarities though. These are all identical to the DJI drones. On the Raptor, which is the one without thermal, you've got a micro four thirds mechanical shutter 
on that drone. So it's gonna be excellent for mapping. That's a good, good drone for mapping. On the thermal side, you get high resolution thermal, 640 by 512. So you are gonna be able to see accurate heat signatures even at 400 feet. You also get about a 45 minute flight time. It's gonna be less than that, just depending on your environment but 45 minute flight time is great as well. Now the downside is that these drones are a little more expensive. The Raptor is coming in at $5,100. The Raptor T is coming in at $7,600. You've then got to add you know, other batteries to it. It also has a port on top where you can add expansion modules exactly like the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal. So you can add an RTK top hat to that if you want to. And I think in the future, I'm sure that they're gonna have like speakers and spotlights and those sorts of things as well. But $5,100 for the Raptor, $7,600 for the Raptor T, still good pricing when you're talking about having like a thermal camera on a drone or when you're talking about having a micro four thirds sensor, which is a big sensor, you're gonna get excellent imagery out of it. And again, excellent pictures for your maps. We're especially excited to get our hands on the Raptor T because we deal a lot with public safety. So we're working with police and fire departments all the time. That is what we do. We sell these drones to people. We've had those clients that have come in and said, look, we wanna get into drones, but we are leery of buying a Chinese made product. So this could be a great option for them. All of the specs, all of the functionality of the DJI drones that you know and love, but not made in China. So it gets around some major hurdles on that front. And if you are interested in buying any of the drones we talked about today, whether it's DJI, Autel, or the Anzu Raptor and Raptor T, we want you to give us a call. The information is on the screen below. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.